Hello everybody. It has been a minute since we have done a cooking video or recipe video, anything in the kitchen. And that makes me really sad because these are some of my favorite videos to film. I always get comments going, please do more like recipe videos, show more of like things that you eat and cook when you're in college because it can be really hard, especially as a freshman to find time and ways to cook. I know it can be really hard in the dorm. I've had like eight pans stolen. It continues to happen every time and I don't understand what to do because I don't want to start a fire by bringing the hot pan back and putting it in the dorm and I leave it for maybe 10 minutes to cool down and then I go back and the pan is just gone every time. So I understand the struggle of being in college and trying to cook. I know it's not the most convenient at times, but I'm here today to show you guys some of my favorite easy recipes that you can make, obviously regardless of if you're in college or not, but these are ones that I really enjoy. So without further ado, we have a lot of recipes to get through today. So let's just get started with our first one, which is going to consist have some sweet potatoes. What's, this one's been, what? Why is there a crater in it? Anyways, let's get cooking. Okay, so starting off with our first recipe here, we're going to be making a healthy chip using literally four things here. You just need some sort of aluminum foil, your sweet potatoes. The key ingredient is the everything bagel sesame seasoning. You can get this, I think at Trader Joe's is the main place. I'm not sure where I got this really intense thing of it. And some olive oil. So basically the hardest part to this is just cutting your sweet potato. I struggle each time. We're just going to make like little chip looking things put them on the aluminum foil season them with this and then put them in the oven I just preheated my oven here so we're going to let that warm up but let's get cutting our lovely sweet potatoes this part can also be kind of messy if I'm being honest and I'm obviously not a pro at any part of this so please don't judge my horrible judgment and how to cut like what's going on I'm probably not the person to be showing you this or holding a knife is not perfection, but flavor and taste. Who cares if your chip looks a little funny? That's okay, as long as it tastes good, who cares? Anyways, now we're gonna go ahead and get our aluminum foil and place them on there. We're gonna go ahead and drizzle some olive oil on top, and then we're gonna coat them in our bagel seasoning. Easy as that. Now that we have our chips, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in. And I don't really have a set time for this. It really just depends, you know, how crisp or not crisp you want them. So I'm just gonna be checking them like every probably eight minutes for a little bit. And we'll just see until they get super crisp. I preheated my oven to 400. It doesn't really matter. You just have to make sure that you're watching them so they don't burn. Boom, easy as that. <laughs> have made delicious sweet potato chips. These are literally the perfect amount of crisp, but I promise you if you make these, you will not regret it. You can also like meal prep them for the week if you don't wanna obviously remake them every single day. I don't know, I personally love sweet potatoes, so these to me taste delicious and obviously super easy. So first recipe success, let's move on to the second one. So with this next recipe, there is also a lot of ways that you can kind of adapt it to your own personal liking. It really depends on how much seasoning you add. I feel like to make it taste good. I'm going to be using garlic salt and garlic powder. Lovely for the breath, am I right? And then any sort of like herbs on top. Basically, I'm just going to cut up my zucchinis here into a thin fry shape, put them on the aluminum foil, season them, and then put them in the oven along with the sweet potatoes. Super easy and very delicious. So let's attempt to cut these. See me when you talk, I don't know what to say. I'm going Just like that, these are ready to join our sweet potatoes in the oven. And I'm just gonna watch them, same temperature and everything until they look super crispy. Don't these just look beautiful? I personally love zucchini, so I'm a huge fan, but if you like veggies, definitely try these, they're so good. And there you have your 
or zucchini fries. Also note that they do shrink when they're in the oven, so you might wanna plan on making more because I thought I cut up so many and this is what ended up coming out. But after you have them all cooked, then you can just add whatever sauce you want, whether it's like, I don't know, like a hummus, ketchup, whatever floats your boat. It is all up to you. All right, cheers. This next one might be the easiest out of all of them and it's such a yummy snack. So all you have to do for this one is get any sort of cracker that you like. These are my personal favorite ones right now. A cucumber, and I already obviously used a little bit of mine. Your favorite kind of hummus, and then any sort of seasoning you want. And basically, super, super easy. I'll show you how you do this, but it's just like a little fun size, little cracker cucumber bite. I don't even know what to call them, but they're so good. Take your cracker. Add it on top, doesn't matter how nice it looks. Then you just take your thinly sliced cucumber, put it on top, add your seasoning. I'm just doing a sprinkle of garlic powder. And just like that, easiest little snack. You're getting your veggies, you're getting your salty. Mm. So for our next recipe, we are going to be making sour candy grapes. And it seems like it would be really time consuming. If you love grapes, this is the recipe for you. Big surprise, but you will need a thing of grapes. Two limes. This part's the only one that's a little hard to find. I date this on Amazon. I don't know if they sell it in store or not, but it's basically, it's called monk fruit sweetener and it's a sugar replacement, I guess. So using these three ingredients, we're gonna make these. Let's do it. Something about the way that you understand. I'm gonna make sure that the lime is mixed around in all the grapes. And now we're gonna go ahead and pour our sweetener on top, just sprinkle it around, mix it around, you know the drill, and then there it is. Hey babe. And there we have our sour candy grapes. And taste test. Mmm. Damn. That's actually so good. You guys need to try these. Mmm. Like they're so good. They make a grape taste 10 times better. And when you need something a little sweet or a little sour, got the perfect little snack. All right, let's move on to our next recipe. So next up, we have another three ingredient, super easy one. You just grab your toast, you put your yogurt on it, cut up your strawberries. And then from there, you can add like honey, chia, seeds, whatever your heart desires, and you have the perfect little yummy, sweet, healthy snack. So let's go ahead and make it. Literally takes me three minutes tops to make this, and it's such a yummy snack or breakfast or whatever you want it to be. All right, everybody, next up is probably one of my favorite ones I'll be showing you guys today. We're going to be making cake batter protein balls. And there's literally, what is it? One, two, three, five ingredients for this, and they're so good. So you will need some sort of flour. I'm going to be using coconut flour. Sprinkles, the most important part to this. Almond extract, maple syrup. The recipe says cashew butter, but I'm gonna be using sunflower butter. Let's get to making it. So in the first bowl here, I'm going to be mixing up two tablespoons of my maple syrup, half a teaspoon of my almond extract, and then half a cup of my sunflower butter. Next up, I'm gonna be adding a third of a cup of my oat flour into the bowl. I'm willing and able to watch and now I'm gonna stick the dough in the fridge for the next 30 minutes. Would it be a video of mine without me spilling something? I promise, I don't do it on purpose. I don't understand. Back in business, no more sprinkle mess. Now we can add our sprinkles in and mix the rest of our batter. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and roll them into little balls, put them on the foil, and then pop them in the fridge to kind of mold, and then we're set. I wanna see more plans and last lines. Fuck your hate sign. Fuck your Dallas signs. We were on the And there we have the perfect little cake batter healthy snack. They are literally delicious, and the almond extract is what makes them taste like the cake batter, but they genuinely taste like it, which is super freaky, but they're so good. And similar to a lot of the other things we made, they're really good for like meal prepping and having where you make them on like Sunday and they last you through the week. So that way when you're in a rush between class or whatever it is, you have an easy, healthy little snack. If you need something sweet, 
Cheers, everybody. We are going to be making chocolate cake covered protein donut holes, which sounds absolutely amazing right now. So let's get started. So for starters, add one fourth a cup of your flour of choice into a bowl. I'm using coconut flour. Add any sort of protein powder you like. I'm going to be using vanilla protein powder. Two tablespoons of dark cocoa powder. One and two. Two and a half tablespoons of dark chocolate pudding mix. One tablespoon of, oh my gosh, I'm coughing on all these dry ingredients. It's called Swerve Confectioners. Ah, another spill. I just need to not rush. There's no rush for me right now, but yet here I am. Now that we have all the dry ingredients in the bowl, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix them up. It literally looks like brownie or like chocolate cake powder. Next up, you're gonna add half a cup of Greek yogurt. I'm gonna be using my dairy-free soy one. And then go ahead and add one egg. Look how cute this little mini garden is. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. And now go ahead and mix all of that together. So now that we have our lovely batter here that looks absolutely delicious, you're gonna roll them into little balls and then we're gonna go ahead and put them in the oven at 350 for around 15 minutes. So let's do it. Okay, I just sprinkled some of the sugar on top. These literally taste like donut holes and they're so good. <laughs> I promise you, if you make these, you will not regret it. The last thing we will be making for today's video is probably one of the easier ones. Now my favorite place to get my smoothies, my smoothie bowls, my ginger shots, it's this place called Nectar and I'm pretty sure they have it in a couple different states, but I'm personally obsessed. I go there way too much and they just made a new drink recently called the Pine pineapple matcha smoothie, I believe, which is the perfect little smoothie to have wherever you are. You literally just need some sort of matcha. I have this little pack here from David's Tea, pineapple chunks, and then any sort of milk. I will be using coconut milk to make it sweet. Combine it all and boom, easy as that. Hello everybody, I'm realizing I did not end this video the day that I made it. I hope this video maybe inspired some of you and I know that at least for me the school year is winding down, um, but it's been a great year and I hope that maybe you got some inspiration for some different snacks you can make, whether you're at home this summer or you're at school. The organization I wanna talk about for today's video is called Athletes for Kids and it is helping pair up high school athletes with kids and children with disabilities and special needs. It's a really special special organization helping and creating joy for a lot of kids. So I will have the link to that down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you soon. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.